So I think I'm going to start this uh, video with a quick fun fact. And that fact is, Maine is the closest state to Africa. Fun fact. <laughs> mm. So I guess this will be my last video on Winter Storm. Jonas. So I guess we could start with a fun fact about Winter Storm Jonas. Some people are probably confused and asking what is that. I mean, I think everyone knows it's the mega blizzard that hit the East Coast. But what? why is it got this name Jonas? Well, apparently in 2012, the uh, Weather Channel decided that they, uh, they should start naming these big-ass mega snowstorms and uh, what, whatever... Um, like tropical storms, like uh, Superstorm Sandy. A lot of people thought it was just a marketing thing on their part, where people would keep watching their uh, shows. Which I don't understand why they felt they they had to make such a move. I mean, the, it's the Weather Channel. What? How are they not getting ratings? It's like every time someone wants to do something, someone says, "Well, you better check the Weather Channel." It's like, "Well, I'm going to go for a ride, take a trip." Well, better check the Weather Channel. See if it's going to rain. The same thing in the winter time. But yeah, that's why a lot of people thought it was just a big way for them to um, market themselves. Now everyone wants to see what's going on with you know winter storm Jonas. Uh, also, some people are wondering if it was named after the Jonas Brothers. Well, I don't have any information to confirm that. But when I was trying to find out how Winter Storm Jonas got its name, I found out that the uh, Weather Channel was working with this high school in uh, Bozeman, Montana. They were working with their uh, Latin club. And there's some story where the Latin club had originally contacted them and suggesting that they use these sort of Greek names for these uh, winter storms when they decided to start naming storms. And that kind of put a bomb between the two of them. And they had taken suggestions for this storm from the <laughs> Bozeman High Latin Club of Bozeman, Montana. So you you would be dealing with teenagers, I think, millennials. So maybe some of them did suggest um, Jonas as a name based on the Jonas Brothers. One of the other suggestions was YOLO. I uh, <laughs> had a few suggestions of my, of my own. And I put them in a video on my other channel, uh, SLB Television 123. Uh, the video will be uh, uh, a na naming, Name the Next Storm. So check that video out. Uh, I really don't know what else to say about this uh, Winter Storm Jonas. Um, I thought it was going to last a little bit longer. And I'd probably do more videos, but not really. So I'm just going to do this video to close it out, really. So, first things first, I gotta make a correction from my last uh, video on uh, Winter Storm Jonas, and that was that I had said that New York was on a curfew. Uh, it wasn't a curfew, it was called a travel ban, which just meant the cars couldn't go anywhere and uh, public transport had been shut down. A uh, curfew would have meant that everyone had to stay in indoors at a certain point, but that was not the case. They could walk around freely but they just couldn't drive any vehicles. And <laughs> quite a few of them did. You'd watch the CNN uh, footage of uh, Times Square or something. People would be out snowboarding or um, skiing. Looked like a lot of fun in you know, like New York and Philadelphia and Washington. New Jersey, not the same. Uh, I'd say with the flooding there, they got hit the hardest. Um, th there was property damage elsewhere that you know snow would... Made a few roofs cave in. Uh, someone put it at uh, one million dollar billion dollars of damage that he thought this storm was going to co would cost. And we'll see how true that turns out to be. Also, a lot of lost revenue, so that was pretty bad. But for the most part, you know, you watch people in like uh, Times Square and they're bumping into um, Steven Tyler and they're sledding down the um, steps of. Uh, the Philadelphia Art Museum, the one in the steps from Rocky. 
And it looked like it was a lot of fun. And of course, I had mentioned in one of the other videos, you had uh, people trying to look for a little um, Blizzard booty calls <laughs> on Craigslist. I'm interested to find out if any of those uh, panned out. Uh, did anyone else, anyone out there, uh, get them a Blizzard booty call? I mean, a str you know, a stranger online and uh, made some hot cocoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, I mean, this I kind of watch them when they're talking about like this stuff. It's like it's a winter wonderland, and we were doing all the stunning. It's like, did they not have winters on the East Coast? I mean, it was like looked like a really bad blizzard to me, being in uh, from the Midwest, Iowa. So maybe I'm a bit biased on what I think of winter is but it's like half the time it's like like these like not have winners there yep so uh also uh you know uh, the the storm caused broadway to shut down but saturday night live uh stayed on and i gotta say last night's episode was quite amazing i thought it was one of the best episodes of uh, Saturday Night Live I've ever seen, ever. It's like every skit had me laughing. And, of course, they had some little tie-ins with the Blizzard in their weekend update and at the beginning. So I thought that, that, was, that was a fun show. And then Selena Gomez came on. and Woo! <laughs> that was a really exciting. Uh, what else? Uh, there's this uh, video trending that I just saw called uh, Snowboarding with the NYPD. You should give that a check out. And that's all I got for Snowstorm Jonas. We'll just uh, have to wait around for the next uh, snowstorm to come around. Mega Snowstorm. Or as I call them, Mega Blizzards. And I think they should do a tie-in with uh, DQ and you know, have like a mega, mega blizzard mint Oreo. <laughs> <laughs>